Good morning. I'm just going to show you um, how to get to the different resources for Beehive. Um, there are different platforms for the different parts of for the different um, um, the different elements. So you can have the online practice and the classroom presentation tools, and those are stored on different platforms. But the way to get into all of those, the easiest way to see everything for Beehive is to go in through the Oxford English Hub, which is the new sort of portal entryway. Click on sign in, enter your usual uh, Oxford ID. And then you'll have access to all the materials that you um, have access to. So basically anything that's on an OUP platform, um, Oxford Learners Bookshelf or the, any of the online practice sites, you'll be able to get through it, get to it through here. So if you click on my courses here or my courses here, um, for example, if you look at Beehive, you click on Beehive, you will see here everything that you have access to for Beehive. So I have the student's book, workbook, presentation tool, online practice is the um, how you can follow along um, what the pupils are doing with their online practice. And then you've got the starter level one and level two phonics and literary program, literacy program uh, for the classroom presentation tool. So these are on Oxford Learners Bookshelf. Click through that and I'll take you through to Oxford Learners Bookshelf. Should anyway. Right up. You open it, and then you're in the bookshelf, and you have um, any of the books that are stored there. And you go back to the hub here. And if you click on online practice, then it'll take you through to the Beehive online practice site, which is specific to Beehive. And this is where you have. Um, the online practice and you can see what the children have done. Looks like that. Then you've got this for all the pupils that are signed up into your class. I'll show you how to create a class. Um, and then you always go back to the hub. The hub is the beginning of everything. Uh, and now, so you want to, so the teacher's resource information um, assessment worksheets, etc., is here. Um, it's not on the online practice, it's on the hub. So here, when you see everything you've got for Beehive 1, you also have uh, assessment uh, resources and professional development. So if I click on assessment, you will see all of the different assessment um, materials, unit tests, prog progress tests, the Cambridge English um, exam uh, practice worksheets, um, entry tests, etc. And if you go to resources, you will see um, all of the different resources available. So you've got your flashcards, um, extensive reading, audio, teaching notes. And here, this is uh, the team up worksheets. And you just need to click on them and download them. And they'll come up here. There you go. And then they show up here, and you've got them. Um, now, if you want to create a class so that your pupils can sign up to be in your class with their book code, um, you go to my classes here on the hub. Oops. Show classes, create a class. I want to call it Beehive. Uh, one, create a class. Class has been created. Go to my class. And this is the code that the students use to enter, uh, to join a class when they uh, are logged into their account. They can put this code in here, you can copy and send it to them, etc. cetera. Um, and then they can put that into their their access when they're logged in, and once they've created their account, and then they will be directly in your um, in your class with the course book they're using, in this case, Beehive One. Then when you go to Beehive Online Practice, you will see 
their progress and the work they've done here. You'll see this for the students. Voila. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Please let me know if you have any questions.